Hey guys, Gray here. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm sorry about that. Um, but today I'm doing a review on the 2004 Teen Titans communicator. You know, I always loved this thing when I was a kid. Like, if you think about it, like, I used to have one when I was a kid, and then I rebought another one, and I bought it at the hobby store nearby where I live. Personally, it the only downside is that it, there are like two versions of the communicator that they actually made for Bandai toys, and this is one of them. And when you turn, here's the on and off button. When you turn it on, it only does it, two things. And that's basically it. But they tried getting detailing into this one. The other one actually hooks up to the TV and used to. Because they used to do commercials. So, like, for instance, the the other Teen Titans communicator looks exactly the same like this, but it has, like, a little monitor thing right here, too, where if you aim it at the TV, it would scan a code that would be during commercial breaks. And I honestly don't know what happened to those commercial breaks because, like, I can't seem to find them on YouTube or anything. So... It, and they also had cards which you could scan the codes as well and it would do like a little mini tv scene for the communicator and that was digital but this is the one that was from the robin costume back in 2004 so it basically is just stickers on here and a sticker on here the buttons don't actually work this does not actually move it's basically rubber on this part um it is hard and it's not hollow and it's easy to clean and maintain. They tried getting all, this is the one where they tried getting the detailing on it. They didn't try going for like the toy wise where you can interact with it. This is one of the ones where you had to use your imagination as a kid. But it's interesting. They got a little detailing on it like this that it actually looks like it's from the show. Even on the back part, which you like, you don't really even need. You did, you put so much detailing onto it. It's amazing, and I I love that Bandai did that. And it it, it was made in China, DC Comics and branded. It actually has that right here, DC com trademark in DC Comics, uh, Bandai two thousand four. But yeah, it's one of my favorites. That I would say. I still love that TV show. There were so many interesting characters they created for the comic series and everything because of that show. Like, they made their own miniature series for the 2004 version specifically because of that. Like, there's the Teen Titans, the new Teen Titans, Teen Titans 2004, Teen Titans Go. And then there's uh, Teeny Titans. And... Personally, I actually kind of liked it when they did the Teeny Titans series. It was kind of nice. It was it was like watching Teen Titans 2004, but as miniaturized versions. So it's not like Teen Titans Go, but in between, where they were serious but still making jokes. Also, weirdly enough, Mother May I and uh, Mumbo Jumbo got married. Yeah, that was, a, that was a strange moment in my life to watch. But I remember this as a kid. It was 100% fun. If anyone's looking for one, it's easy to find. You can find them basically anywhere on eBay or in hobby stores if you actually go look for them. Um, like, I actually just went to the hobby store just randomly and found it. That's actually saying something. Like, and, like I, I like collecting stuff like this, so it it's... The only weird part is, this is made for kids, right? But if you think about it, this is actually like an adult-sized toy. So, like, if you have, if you want to do cosplay with it, I would 100% recommend it. Because, like I said, it won't get damaged easily. This is in great quality for something from 2004. The paint barely has phased. And, and like, you can see all the detailing, actually, like... The only mark that, like I would say, has faded is like a little chip right here, but that looks like someone dropped it, and that's it. Like, everything else is pretty great and accurate. But I do have to admit that there is something that does bother me. These parts on the back do rust. 
like the screws do rust so you know you might want to replace them every now and again if you get a chance or a possibility to and but yeah and also i don't know how i would hook this like in the original tv series they would hook it onto your belt but um there is no belt buckle holder for this so i don't know how they would attach this because it's not supposed to be in a pocket. It's not supposed to be, like, weird that way. But it's supposed to be, like, on the side of your belt. But it has no attachment to it. So you can't really attach it to anything. So you'd have to carry it around the whole time. Unless you make an attachment for it. So, if, like I said, if you're going for cosplay or you just want to do something with it, I would totally recommend it. I hope you guys liked the video. Please enjoy. Uh, and I also hope you liked the intro. It took me a while to do because... It, they, they made so many characters for this TV series, and I had to find them, well, most of them. There's a few that I didn't put in, like from the Teeny Titan series and a few other ones. I'm sorry to say, but like I said, um, it would have consumed most of the video. So I uh, hope you guys like, please subscribe, have a nice day, bye.